neutral side action, and we're just about set to kick off. And now let's head down to the coin toss. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. Taken from the three-yard line. And he's tackled at the 20. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Halfback's got it on a quick throw. And they push him out at the 26-yard line. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. the toss left nice run there so the tailback's going to come away with a first down on the play he got seven but it looked like for a second he could have broken it for even more good call gets it to his tight end for a first down he faked out everybody in the stadium when you can sell the run that well, you're going to have the upper hand on the defense. First and ten, ball on the 49. Tailback brought down for a loss. Did you see how that big defensive line got such a good push on that play? That's exactly why they were able to stop him for a loss. now and they need to get it inside the 41. Makes the grab past the marker and they make the stop around the 33 yard line. yard line. Second down. He gets out to about the 28 yard line. It's the ninth play of the drive. Touchdown. White out here truly knows what he has to do to contribute to make his team successful. The coverage just couldn't keep up with him there. It's the PAT. A nine-play, 81-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. San Diego State lines up for the kickoff. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Gets out to around the 35. 
First down, 10 to go. Ball in the 35. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. Steps out of bounds at about the 39-yard line. Three, maybe four yards on the pass. He took what the defense gave him that time, which is okay. It keeps the yards to go a little bit more manageable. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. First and ten. Ball on the 48. Gets it quickly to the tight end, but it's dropped. Catch there before he stepped out of bounds. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 32 yard line. Just throws this one away. And this play is number eight on the drive. Quick out to his receiver. He's tackled right around the 18-yard line. First and ten. We're at play number nine of this current drive. And a quick throw. And he shoved out of bounds around the one yard line. First and goal. It's first down. Chance for three or seven here. First and goal inside the five. Touchdown, Vandals. This is what an offensive lineman hopes for, an opportunity to impose his will on the defense. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he adds the extra point. A 10-play, 76-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow him down. We're even at seven in this one. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. These guys came up with a touchdown on their last drive, and they'll be hoping for another six on the board here. I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And one thing is that any defense... And now the ball is loose. And he's taken down at about the 33-yard line. I'll tell you, when a guy as big as this lineman gets his paws on a loose ball, you can pretty much forget about it. You're not getting the ball back from him. The last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. 
tack on in the yardage. Call it a game of yards. That makes it second and six. Second and six. Ball on the 29-yard line. He tackles him for a loss. By the time the running back here got the football, he's looking up and he's got a couple defensive linemen closing in on him because they were able to slip off of their blocks. Really, there's nothing he could do at all there. That was more of a miscommunication and just getting overmatched up front by the offensive line. Got a man. Watch out here. He gets hit out of bounds around the 23-yard line. Hey, it's a, it's a first down for this offense that keeps everybody enthusiastic. You can see the momentum that this offense is gaining. The coaches and the players on the sideline are fired up, and hey, it's a new set of downs. We've got a first and 10, all on the 23-yard line. Dumps it complete, the tight end over the middle. They'll bring him down at the 11. So at the end of one, we get a tie game at 7-7. Even first quarter as we head into quarter number two. And he's tackled right away. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. The short yardage defense here. on the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Second down. He makes his way to about the 38. away here on second down. There's a strike complete. Tackle at about the 47-yard line. right they can't connect incomplete here the quarterback's trying to get the ball to the tight end but really the timing was disrupted from word go at the line of scrimmage he didn't do a good job of getting clear from the line of scrimmage and it slowed down his route and it forced the quarterback to have to throw the ball close to the boundary and eventually he didn't have a chance to make the play and he throws it away this is the ninth play of this drive It all going long. Caught. 
Huge gain, and that sets him up nicely with a first and goal. This is the tenth play in the drive. On play action. Brought down to the nine yard line. It's second and goal. Nine yards to the goal line. He's tackled around the seven yard line. This is the 12th play of this drive. This should be an easy field goal. He gets it up, and it is good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. San Diego State to kick. He's to the 20. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Idaho holds a four-point lead. Gets to about the 24-yard line. Nothing doing on the halfback draw. Second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 24. Quick throw, and they make the stop at the 31. He's going to come up short. Good tackle. They'll be short of the first down after that unsuccessful running play. Nice job here by the defense of holding firm and forcing a fourth down. This is a great punt blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. Tackle made at the 41. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Throws it in a hurry. He's knocked out of bounds. Right around the 44-yard line. From the 44-yard line, first down. He's got his man across the middle. He's taken down at the 22-yard line. From the 22-yard line, it's first down. Now he tries to buy some time. And he's level at the 17-yard line. And he couldn't manage to get out of bounds and stop the clock. Well, let's see how that affects him here in this situation.
a pretty big mistake, and this offense will lose possession of the football. Sloppy job by the ball carrier. First and foremost, you should always be concerned about the ball. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Idaho is up by four. And here's a quick throw. From their own 41-yard line, second down. out to his receiver. He's tackled around the 47-yard line. He's at the 40, and it's the senior. And he's taken down at the 33. A nice-looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. Good tackle there in space. Rose, and he's got a man. Touchdown. And he hits the PAT. A five-play, 59-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Decent pickup. We've still got a half of football remaining. The Vandals in front by 11. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the EA Sports Halftime Show. Along with David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis. David, both of these coaches came in solid game plans, as you would expect. Seem to spend most of the first half sort of feeling each other out. And we see it every single week. You don't want to make mistakes early, but sometimes you do, and you have to bounce back. And I think when you look forward to this second half, these coaches, they put themselves in a position where they're in the game. Now they have to go out and make plays. They've seen what both coaching staffs want to do to their defense, to their offense. Now they have to go out and execute in the second half and play well. And let's see which coach has the, shall we say, intestinal fortitude to be bold first. The Aztecs found the end zone just once. They're hoping to get that offense going in the second half. Time to tee it up. Kickoff coming. Brad and Kirk on the call. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. He's to the 40. And he's tackled at the 48. From the 48-yard line, first down. That's a great tackle at the 48-yard line. Gets out to about the 45-yard line. Call it a gain of three yards. That makes it third and Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 38. Just 
throws this one away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 31. Really good play here in run support by the linebacker. The big guys up front took away the running lanes, and he was able to get through for a loss. He's to the 40. Makes it out to about the 50. You like to see a team having success like this running the football. It can really open up things for the offense. From the 50, first down. He fights forward to about the 49. Incomplete. And once again, they'll come to the line trying to convert on third down. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He's pushed out of bounds around the 44-yard line. Makes the catch, but just not enough for the first. Yeah, they're going to come up a little bit short here. Nice job by the defense of preventing this completion from turning into a first down. He'll try to change the field position and especially not get it to the end zone. And he's got to be happy with that punt, Kirk. Yeah, Brad, that was nice. So now they're looking at a long way to go to even think about a score. The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time out. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He steps out around the 13-yard line. a play fake he delivers these guys were ready for the pass and played it well to come up with the deflection tackle at the 41 yard line the offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. Down two possessions, this offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. He's at the 30, they'll bring him down at about the 27-yard line. From the 27-yard line, it's first down. Very good tackle in space. That's a game of two on the 
That makes it second and eight. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Inside the 10. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. receiver in a hurry and he hits him hard at the one yard line that brings him second and goal we've got second and goal ball on the one yard line That's three down and one to go. The Vandals in front by 11. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. From the one yard line, third down. He dives and he'll be marked down. Touchdown. And they hook up on the short pass play for the touchdown. Nice call down here this close to the goal line. The defense is thinking run, and they pass instead. You talk about a clutch play. They couldn't afford any mistakes on fourth down there. And the quarterback stays on the field as they try for the two-point conversion. That was the right call going for two. But they just couldn't get the job done. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. It's been a good one so far today. Let's see what happens here. I think it's pretty obvious they've got to keep the ball on the ground here. Take as much time off the clock as possible. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Tackle around the 20-yard line. Excellent job by the defense to diagnose the play so quickly. This is really a well-coached unit. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on their own 20. Caught out in the open. Knocked out of bounds at the 29-yard line. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. But they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. hit before he can go anywhere. From their own 34-yard line. First down. Caught over the middle. And he 
tackles him hard at the 44-yard line. Very solid gain through the air. I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. down 10 to go ball on the 45 just under three to go in regulation there's a strike complete he's down so the Aztecs will use their first time out of the half. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Taken down right around the 30. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 11. That's good for a gain of 19 yards. That makes it first and 10. Tenth play of the drive. Up the middle for a nice game. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Tacks on the extra point. It was an 11 play, 77 yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven on seven drill and not see the ball touch the ground. This time they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and the receiver. The offense will be hoping they can move the ball as well as they did on their last drive. A little over a minute in the game. Catches it. Brought down at the 19. That's just a great call by the coordinator there going to the air on first down. And he's level at the 26. Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman. When the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday. 
Third down and long coming up here. Ball on the 26. Quick toss. Finds his receiver. Touchdown. Late in the fourth quarter now, and with that score, this game's a one-possession ball game, and it's really going to get tense from here on out. And he converts the extra point. A four-play, 75-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. I think the big thing there, Brad, is that they were able to execute the passing game. When you can get big plays and great execution, obviously you can move the ball down the field. So our score, 28-23. Brought down by the kicker. Brad, this is my kind of game. I love seeing this kind of production and the way these quarterbacks are playing. Both teams are challenging both of these defenses. Here we are late in the fourth quarter in a very important and a very tight football game. And who's going to come to the forefront? We'll see who's got the most leadership. Favorite play in football of your quarterback. Take a knee. From the 46-yard line, it's second down. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. He'll go down to one knee. So this one's in the books, and we saw a great one here today. 28-23, Idaho. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.